everybody. Sure, good evening. I don't usually do a review this late at night, but I got the Four Peaks Brewing Company Pug Pack on the way home from work and thought we would give one to try. Um, they have the Kilt Lifter, which we've done on here before, Hop Knot IPA, which I'm pretty sure we haven't, Peach Peach Golden Ale. We've done a peach, we did Peach Stand Rambler, which was a different brand. And of course, Gilt Lifter, which is the light version of Kilt Lifter. Since we've done Kilt Lifter, Gilt Lifter would be kind of redundant because it would taste the same. It's just a lower calorie beer. So tonight we're going to do the Joy Bus Wow Wheat. Wondrous Orange Wheat. So basically it's kind of like a blue moon, I guess, with the orange already in it. And of course, Crystal Skull. Had my coffee in this this morning, so I had to wash it out. And here we go. So far the color is the same. As... a blue moon. And again, if this were a bottle, I would save it for the wall, but it's just a beer can. It's kind of a retro 60s kind of look. You can smell the orange. Mmm. This is nice. You can taste the orange as well. It's kind of like orange juice mixed with beer. Or like if you were having a, like as a, I lost my train of thought. A blue moon or the other one. Shock top, there we go. So it's the one that has shapes like the guy is, it's like, Shaped like an orange slice, and he's got a mohawk, which is, I guess, to remind you that you put orange in it because it's a half a bison. This one again is Four Peaks, Tempe, Arizona. This one is 5.8, 5 5.5% ABV. It's a wheat malt beverage with natural flavors. Brewed and packaged by Four Peaks Brewing Company. And it says established in Arizona in 96. So, nothing fun to say about it except for. Well, the can is kind of fun. For me, it's not worth saving. Because I usually save them. The more interesting ones are like spooky ones. I can't recall ever having an orange beer before that already, that already had the orange in it as opposed to squeezing the orange in it. But I definitely like it. I'm looking forward to trying Hot Knot for you and Peach Golden as well. Um, the reason I got this was because there was a... Um, Another one I wanted to get, a customer had bought some hard seltzers and it was called Ranch Water. I think I've tried that one before, but I believe it, if, I, if I had did, it was before I started doing reviews on YouTube. So if I can find Ranch Water, I will get that and we'll try some of those before we move. And also they didn't have any pumpkin. I do need to do some grocery shopping, so I think I might go to Albertsons instead and see if I can get some pumpkin. Or maybe go to Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's always has some good stuff. Because I need to get groceries, but I want to try and find some pumpkin beer.
it's a nice single note. Um, well, also the wheat. You can taste the wheat. Perhaps not as much as you might be able to, like in Shock Top or maybe Blue Moon. But the, the orange is a nice complement to it. And for a fruit flavored beer. It's not sour and it's not overly sweet. It's pleas it's pleasantly fruity. It's yeah, you could this you could drink several of these. Again, this is this is very sessionable for a fruit flavored brew. It's not heavy. It's very light, it's easy, um, easy to knock back a few. It, but again, like I said before, and other people who do reviews reviews for a living. You know, you don't want to drive anywhere. Just if you're going to have any alcohol, get a designated driver. Hmm. Excuse me. Or stay home. Or if you're hanging out at a friend's, see if they'll let you spend the night. It's never good to drink and drive, ever. I can definitely say I like it. Um, I could add this to my list of favorites, and I have several. I have, there are some that I really, really, really like that are I would consider favorites, and I would buy again if I could find them and if I could remember to do that. And, and then there are some that I just like that. Yeah, again, I would get them again. They're not my most favorite, but they're not my least favorite either. And as you will see in my, in my reviews, there are more beers, ales, stouts, IPAs um, that I like than ones that I don't. It's hard. It's I'm hard pressed to find a beer that I don't like. <laughs> and I definitely do like this one. I do have to work tomorrow, so I will probably follow this up with a Gilt Lifter, which is only 99 calories, and probably has lower ABV. I've got one here. Yeah, it's 3.4, the lowest one we've done so far, 99 calories, and it's the Scottish Ale in the light version. And again, I'm not going to do a, a, a review of that because it's just a lighter version of Kilt Lifter and we've already done Kilt Lifter. Let's see where we're at. I'm still battling the computer at work. As far as actually being able to officially put in my transfer. The software was supposed to be updated as of the 11th, and at my store it isn't updated yet because the dreaded assessment that I never actually took, I started taking it, but I never finished it, so it just sort of, I would have had to start it over, but it's still lurking in there. I can't get rid, I can't um, put my transfer request in, or even um, change my preferences to get rid of the greeter position I was going to go for previously when I was planning on still staying here. And I can't go into the assessment screen and get rid of it there either. So basically the software is in flux. I'm going to have to talk with personnel and see if they will wipe it out for me. And she was in a very lousy mood today, so we will see. Fingers crossed for me. That's the only hurdle I have right now is this transfer. I can still go to the other job because they want me, but it'll be easier if we go ahead and get everything done on this end first. So 
have good thoughts for me that that will keep keep going that it will go smoothly again well I should probably finish this up and get ready for bed um, there probably won't be any more Halloween because I've got things to do that's pause. okay I'm back sorry about that I had to take care of something really quick anyway where was I? Oh yes, wrapping it up. Like I said, it's um, my overall review of this beer is it's a nice, light, refreshing beer. I've said that way too many times. I love the orange flavor. I don't recall ever having an orange flavored beer before. But then I could, could be wrong because I forgot that when I tried the Pop Cactus One Salabri, I was thinking that was the only prickly pear beer I had before, but then I went back through my library and remember that I had shot, tried Shiner Prickly Pear. So we'll preface it with as far as I can remember anyway. This is the only orange flavored beer I've had and I do like it. If I ever have another one I will compare the two. Hopefully if I remember. <laughs> Brain fog is worse as you get older. Um, As far as the other fruit flavored ones I've had, um, I'm still liking, I'm st um, after trying, um, was it Rio, Rio Bravo? Was it or Rio Grande? Uh, when I went to, uh, way back when I went to Via Miriam's block party, I remember trying Rubus Ruckus and I've had some Rubus since then. And out of the both, both of those, I like both of them. And I do believe, while I did, Raspberry Dynamite was not bad, I do prefer a Rubus to the Raspberry Dynamite Sour. But as far as orange, I can't really recall having had another orange to compare orange to orange. But flavor-wise, I still prefer the Rubus to this, although it's a close, as far as you're comparing fruit to fruit, it's a close second. Um, peach, some of the peach ones I've had would be, would be up there along with mango because to me they're similar. But anyway, let's wrap this up. Um, got you up to date pretty much what's going on. Um, Tuesday I should be hearing something about which truck we're taking, whether we're doing the flatbed trailer and a pickup or the U-Haul. Um, and the only thing that's the sticky point right now is working through the um, transfer on this end because it's good on the other end. I just pretty much because she wanted me to have it locked in to make sure that they have something for me because they do, they need full time people. And I guess she's trying to make sure that I actually get the spot, get a spot. So I'll keep you posted again, as I said. Um, again, remember your reverse, reverse masquerade. Um, if you haven't been vaccinated, that's your choice at this point, whether you want to or not. Um, just be careful, take care of yourselves, take care of others, and keep looking for Halloween. Um, like I said, if I have time and money, I will try to do some more before I leave. And I guess we'll wrap it up for now. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell for more of this kind of thing or outfit videos or whatever I happen to be doing at the time. I try to find things I like that you like as well. And I'll see you next time. Love you guys. Bye.